Hey Tires, welcome to your digital reteach for calculating average speed. This is a sixth grade teak that has a great deal to do with math. So let's begin right away. First off, you need to make sure you understand how you're going to get credit for this reteach. Use the Cornell Note worksheet that was provided from your teacher. As you're watching the video, take notes, answer questions, and then write your summary at the end. Show your completed Cornell Note worksheet to your teacher. They will give you information about the next retest. Now, when we are calculating average speed, there's some caution that we really need to be careful of. The first thing we need to be aware of is that average speed is not, right, we gotta be very clear on this, it is not adding up multiple numbers and dividing them by how many numbers you have. Uh, example, in math class, if you've got three, four, four, three, and you want to find the average, you'd add those all up. All right, so I got seven. Okay, so I got 14. And if you wanted to find the average of that, you would take 14, and then you would divide that by four. This is not what we are talking about for average speed. So you need to always use the formula. And when you start to use the formula, substitute the numbers into that formula and then begin your calculations. Also, beware the units. Sometimes they're gonna change on you. In other words, sometimes the problem might give you minutes, but maybe the answer wants hours. So you gotta be really careful that you're getting the right unit used at the correct time. It's not a trick question, but it is making sure that you understand what you're doing. So here's our formula for average speed. We're gonna take the total distance and we're gonna divide that by the total amount of time it took that object to cover that total distance. Sorry, I didn't mean to jump ahead there. So in eighth grade science, later on, when you take your eighth grade star test, you're not allowed to use calculators. Because of this reason to help you get ready, most of your sixth grade science teachers also will not let you use a calculator. So you do need to know your appropriate math skills to get this done. All right, let's take a look at our first sample question. Here's a question that was actually used on a science star test a few years back. So it says a bus travels at 20 kilometers in 30 minutes. What is the average speed of the bus? So it gave me some good information. I got 20 kilometers, I got 30 minutes. So I've got my distance and I've got my time. Once again, the formula is average speed equals the total distance divided by the total time. I don't need to worry about much for that because my distance is just 20 kilometers. And I'm gonna divide that by, here's my number 30, so 30 minutes. All right, now if I set this up kind of like a long division problem, so 20 divided by 30. All right, right off the bat, something's looking wrong here. Something's not looking correct. I know that 30 will not even go into 20 one time. Like my answer should be a fraction, but none of my answer choices match that. What's going on? Well, here's the problem. Remember, beware the units. It gave me 30 minutes and all of my answer choices are in hours. So because of that, I need to calculate this as if it was hours. So I don't wanna use that number 30 at all. So really this problem needs to be reworked so that I have 20 kilometers divided by time, total time. So 30 minutes is really half an hour. So I'm just gonna say 0.5, I like decimals, 0.5 hours. All right, so let's set this up like it's long division. So that's 0.5 and 20. So 20 divided by 0.5. 
All right, now you can move the decimal point around many different ways doing this. I'm just going to use some logical thinking to solve this problem. 0.5 is smaller than 1, but if I had used 1, then it would go into it 20 times. But it's only half of that, so how many halves are there in 20? So it basically doubles that. So I know it's actually going to be 40. Now if I want to check it, I just take 40 times 0.5, so that's 40 times a half, and half of 40 is 20. And that works out perfect. If I work out the rest of the law and division, everything cancels out. So in this case, my answer is letter H. Okay, let's look at our next sample question that we can look at here. On this next sample, we've got a gridable problem. So we got to make sure we bubble these grids in correctly and we get all that work done correctly. So on sample two, some students were investigating the speed of a toy car they built. They performed two trials and recorded their data in the table below. What was the average speed of the toy car during the two trials to the nearest tenth of a meter per second? Record your answer and fill in the bubbles on your answer document. Be sure to use the correct place value. Okay, so same toy car, two different trials. So let's just work with trial one first. Got to remember my formula. Average speed equals the total distance divided by the total amount of time. Now in the first trial, the total distance is just one number. So my distance is 5.6 meters. And my time is four seconds. All right, so I need 5.6 divided by four. All right, now I'm going to use a little math trick here. I'm going to take this decimal and I'm going to move it straight up here to make it easier to work with the decimal point. So as I work through this, it's just law and division, which if you're not good at, we'll show you ways to get help on that later on the video, but it's a skill you do need to have at this point. So four will go into five one time. And then I'll take one times four is four. I subtract my four. There's one left. I bring down the six. I got 16. All right, so now I got to think, how many times does four go into 16? Well, that's pretty easy, you know, four, eight, 12, 16, oh, four times. So four, and just to make sure that cancels everything out, I don't have a remainder. Four times four is 16. Subtract that, zero. Okay, so that's good. So for trial one, my average speed is gonna be 1.4. Okay, let's try trial number two. This had a distance of seven meters. So I'm gonna take five over here. So seven divided by five. All right, so I know five comfortably goes into seven one time. So I got one times five. All right, so track that, I'm left with two. Now, I've got a remainder here that I don't like, and I, I don't want it, and I still want a decimal point. So even though there's no zero written here, I can write it in. I can make that 7.0. I'm just gonna put the decimal point in both places. So now I can bring that down, and that zero can come down here, so I have 20. So now I'm thinking, how many times does five go into 20? All right, well, that's easy enough. It's just four times. So four times five, 20. There we go. And that's a way to work out my decimal points within my fraction. Because I don't want fractions in here. I really don't. So for trial two, the average speed was also 1.4. So for both of these, it's 1.4. So that's easy enough to get the average. My average then is one, make sure I get this right, 0.4. On these gridable questions, you gotta be very careful about where that decimal point is or you lose your credit. So if I bubble that in, that was the one, and this is the four. That would be an answer of 1.4.
Now, these extra zeros, you can fill in these first three zeros right here if you would like. You don't have to. I can also fill in this zero if I like, but I don't have to. I just need to make sure that one is in the correct location, 1.4. And it is, so I'm good. Okay, let's try another sample question here. You know, I notice on this sample question, I have less data. It's kind of leaving me in my own. So it says a student walks two kilometers in 30 minutes. What is the student's average speed? And here's a catch in kilometers per hour. That unit problem came back up. They keep mixing my units up. They gave me 30 minutes, but they want the answer in hours. Once again, that's not a trick question. That's a question to see if you really understand all the details about what you're given. So I do not want to use the number 30. I want to use half an hour. 30 minutes is half an hour. I don't really like fractions, so I'm going to use a decimal point of 0.5 hours. That is the amount of time that we're using here. So once again, the formula that I got to be sure that I use is the average speed equals the total distance, which was two kilometers, divided by the total amount of time, which in this case was half an hour, so 0.5. All right, several ways you can solve this. Um, if you would like, you can move decimals around. Once again, if you're really good with that in math, feel free to do that if you know what you're doing. If not, just think about how many halves go into two. Or think about money if you need to. If you have $2, how many times do you have 50 cents? Well, it happens twice in a dollar. It's got to happen two more times, so I have $2. So therefore, my answer is just four. My average speed is four kilometers per hour. So on a grid, if I put the four right over here, I'll get my answer wrong because that's really 4,000. If I put it over here, that's wrong because that's four tenths. So I need to make sure I get it where the whole number would be, and that's right here. Now, if I just write the number, I also get it wrong because the Scantron reader does not read that portion. I need to make sure that I bubble in the four. Now, I can bubble in the rest of the zeros if I would like, but I don't need to. It does not change my answer. All right, let's go on to the next one. All right, now on this one, if you need more time, go ahead and pause the video. But this question is for you to work out now that you've seen me work out a couple. So practice question number one. A student has walked five meters in the hallway in just five seconds. She looks at the clock and notices that she has a lot of time before the bell rings. So she stops and stands still for the next 30 seconds. She then runs to class, going another 35 meters in just five more seconds. What is her average speed? All right, so I'm going to help you get started with this one because it's a little different. But your formula is average speed equals total distance divided by the total time. So you've got a lot of distances here and you've got a lot of times. You need to think about what was the total distance that she went out of all her distances and divide that by the total amount of time it took her to get her average speed. All right, I'm going to go on to the next one. Pause the video if you need more time to work this through. For practice question number two, a car travels 50 miles. During the trip, the car is often stopped at red lights. The trip began at 12.30 p.m. and the trip ended at 1.30 p.m. What is the car's average speed? Now for this one, I'm requesting that you answer in miles per hour. All right, now that's just a couple of sample problems to see how well you're doing. Now, like we said before, this is not that difficult if you know math, but if you're stuck on math, you may need some extra help. There's two places that are really easy to get to. The first one, if you go to the Khan Academy website. Now, that's a great website for tutoring on just about anything, really. If you look in the description for this video, I've got some links that'll take you right to the section about division in Khan Academy and they can help you out with some more of the process of actually doing the division by hand. If you've got the time, you can also go to your math teacher's tutorial. Now, even if you're not studying division right now, 
I'm pretty sure any math teacher would be more than happy to help you with these problems because they are always wanting to make you better as well. So even though it's a science class, you do need some math to be able to handle this stuff. All right, that's it, Tigers. Finish up your Cornell notes, answer all your problems, and you should be all set for your next retest. Best of luck.